Maybe it's the calm before the storm. Or maybe it's just we don't have that many big names left to sign. But one name in particular we haven't talked about lately, Nazem Kadri. Welcome back, hockey fans. Welcome in if this is your first time to the channel. I'm Josh. This is The Hockey Flow. And today, it's Monday, July 25th, 2022. That's right. We've talked about Matthew Kachuk, Jonathan Huberdo, but Nazem Kadri, that's still a name that's hanging out there. And uh, we're going to get to that in just a moment on Today in Hockey. But first and foremost, we got to get to our headlines. And we got a light headline day. We got a couple of follow-ups for us. But then we're getting into it. Our article deep dive. We're heading back to the hockey writers and the excellent Jim Parsons for another edition of Rumor Roundup. That's right, we got a lot of fun ones. We got three in particular, so I'm excited to get to those. If you do enjoy the content, take a moment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Helps us out a ton as we're just getting started. And uh, we uh, do have a giveaway going on right now. Special video coming up this weekend. Stay tuned to the end of the video for that. All right, today in hockey, History on this date, July 25th in 1994. That's right, Tendi Andre Vasilevsky is born. He would uh, replace Tendi legend Evgeny Nabokov on the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, who, fun fact, was also born on this date. And tell you what, this was a neat one. 24 current or former NHL players were born on July 25th, so kind of take your pick, but uh, I thought Vassy in this picture was well worth the uh, celebration. So happy birthday to you, good sir. All right, headlines, headlines, headlines. Let's get into it. We uh, did say it was going to be a little light. We're just doing some follow-ups. Uh, Calgary Flames, Jonathan Huberdeau and Mackenzie Weger, both players uh, had their little press conferences, or their welcomes, if you will. And both players did say they were open to signing long-term with the team. So uh, great news for you guys, absolutely. They may just be saying the right things, right? Just uh, got brought in from a new destination. But uh, I tell you what, that, that's good to hear, right? Good to hear if you're a Flames fan. Now, as an Oilers fan, I'm kind of like, ah, jump ship, jump ship. But nah, at the end of the day, I want everyone to succeed. So, all right, Winnipeg Jets, you guys are also in the news today. Pierre-Luc Dubois, we've been talking about him a lot. Wants to go to Montreal, attended the draft even. Well, he came out today and he said that he never formally requested a trade from the team. He wanted to sign this one-year deal all along, but I tell you what, if you read through the article in his interview, uh, definitely did not commit to Winnipeg. Um, definitely still uh, wants to probably head to Montreal, but um, you know, he, he said the right things for this and it, you know, We'll see how it goes. But uh, let me know in the comments, do you think Pierre-Luc Dubois actually wants to stay in Winnipeg or do you think he's uh, headed to Montreal? All right, article of the day. Rumor Roundup! That's right, we got another Rumor Roundup. Uh, we're heading back to the hockey writers and the excellent Jim Parsons. I love these things. Hopefully you guys do too. Today we're looking at the Islanders, Oilers, and Stars. Yes, just three today. All right, so first and foremost, we got to get into it. The Nazem Kadri news, or at least in this regard, could the Islanders be targeting Kadri? So right now, he is the, the biggest name available, um, I would say. Um, and according to Kevin Kurz of The Athletic, Jim Parsons brings that to us. Uh, the rumblings have begun in regards to the Islanders wanting Kadri. Now, whether or not there's any truth to that, or um, the Islanders are just looking to improve their team any way they can. They've got a little extra money to spend. Uh, Lou Lamariello, why not? Why not splash the cash a little bit? Um, well, the article does talk about it. Too many centers already, right? That might be a little overkill, but um, I do like the, the idea that the article brings up. Move uh, Matthew Barzal out to the wing. Move him on the left wing. Uh, he does so well on that power play. Um, I would love to see him out there full time. I know center of the ice, that, that huge impact, but um, Kadri could center him for, for the next few years. I don't know. I like it. All right, let's go Oilers. Uh, we've been talking about Jesse Pugliarvi quite a bit. Um, today the news is uh, Pugliarvi's camp trying to avoid arbitration. So um, on the face of it, you wouldn't think that's the case because uh, you would think they would want to get the uh, most money for their player and you know that's their opportunity to do so. And the article does talk about how if uh, Pugliarvi does make it to arbitration, odds are they're going to favor in his, uh, in his favor because, or they're going to rule in his favor, excuse me, um, because of 
where uh, where he played this this previous season on that top line, playing um, with elite players. History shows that those players tend to uh, win their arbitration hearing. So that means that he would be slotted in over the three million mark. And the article talks about how the Oilers don't want that because, it, and honestly, uh, Pugliarvi's camp doesn't want that because if that salary crosses over the three million mark, then teams are going to be very hesitant to trade for him. As an Oilers fan, I'm okay with that. I want them to bring. I want them to bring him back. I don't want Puliyarvi to leave. So, um, to be honest, I, I say let's make it to arbitration. Puliyarvi can win, make a little over three million this season, and hopefully just uh, have an excellent year for the Oilers. But. Um, if that doesn't happen, uh, there's there's a chance that the Oilers may be more motivated to get the trade done sooner uh, because he may have a little more value right now if that salary is a little lower. So maybe the Oilers re-sign him um, and, and move him on. But gosh, I really want Pugliarvi back. All right, last but not least, could the Stars bring back Klingberg, uh, Blink Klingberg excuse me, on a one-year deal? So John Klingberg, uh, recently for the Stars, uh, defenseman, right-handed, offensively gifted. Uh, defensively, you know, he's got a couple gaps, but that's all right. You know, I, I would love to have him on, on the Oilers, but uh, it would have to be cheap, right? We've got a really good team. We can move Tyson Berry, but um, in, as far as he's concerned, the article talks about, hey, recently got married. Congrats to him, um, but right now the market uh, is just not what he was expecting. I don't think it's what a lot of us were expecting. I thought Klingberg was going to um, get signed right away. We even talked about it a few videos back with the Kraken maybe be interested. Uh, would the Ottawa Senators be interested? But um, no, nah, according to this, uh, um, there hasn't been any news lately. Uh, the Athletic is reporting nothing yet, and um, we're getting to the point where maybe he's got to look at short-term deals, maybe a one-year deal, and returns back to the Stars. Let me know, Stars fans. Would you like that? Uh, I think if you make the money uh, work, absolutely. He's been a, a kind of an institution for that team, so I would love to see that. Um, but should the Islanders sign Kadri, or should Colorado? That was another one brought up in the article. Um, the Avs, maybe they're just waiting to clear space, but I tell you what, we talked about it a few days ago. I feel like they would have already done it. But let me know in the comments. That's going to do it for the video today. Another great edition of Rumor Roundup. Again, thank you guys so much. We did cross that 100 subscriber mark. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to be moving our way up again. We'll start doing another number. We'll start working our way towards that. But we do have a special video coming this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, uh, going to go through all the rules and just the, the quick rundown of everything to uh, be compliant for YouTube. And that way we can get you that $100 gift card to NHL shop without having to worry about anything. Uh, but again, I appreciate you guys. Until tomorrow, cheers.